Operation 400 update. Tom is doing fantastic right now. And uh, so where he is right now, we're going to talk a little bit about his nutrition starting off, or a lot of bit about his nutrition. So he's at 1,000 grams of carbs a day, 355 grams of protein, and 235 grams of fat. So what, what, what we're going to do from here is Tom in November is going to get a DEXA scan. The target body fat then is go, is six percent on a DEXA scan, so you know we're we're not gonna get one of his buddies in Australia to, you know, pinch fat and say he's like you know one percent body fat or, you know, do some kind of electrode thing where you stand on a scale and it's gonna be on a DEXA scan, you know, so the gold standard. So right now he's weighing about three hundred fifty two pounds, but so it, right now when he's on a period of lower calories, here's what uh, Tom's gonna accomplish here. So there's a huge psychological component here. When you're eating big meals all the time, it's a drain. It's uh, if anybody's followed any kind of strict nutritional approach for bodybuilding, even you know for bigger guys that have to eat a lot of food, cutting down. But especially when you're bulking up, eating all that food all the time is a psychological drain. So by eating less, there is a psychological component that's you're giving your mind a little bit of a break there. So, anyways, the mu- the muscle protein synthesis in re- in response to overfeeding. Um, in the context of assuming you have adequate protein, it's going to be a much better at a lower body fat. So, you know, the, in the, chlor- the caloric deficits here are going to improve the nutrient partitioning, but what it's going to do is basically allow him, allow Tom to um, say the best is he's going to be able to most efficiently use those calories, you know, all those macronutrients and all that stuff when he's leaner. He can more efficiently use carbs, protein, fat, etc. So, um, this is kind of so this is you know these acute deficits too you know throwing it in there right now can can cause pretty significant fat fat loss while preserving muscle mass assuming you don't do it forever it's going to also increase his insulin uh sensitivity and all that kind of stuff so there's a lot of good stuff here and it's sort of um tom was actually even though i'm doing all this training and stuff give credit credit to he's the one that kind of got me out of this concept he's definitely the one that got me out of this concept for bulking up and it's pretty interesting because um my mentor, Dr. Fred Hatfield, had a, a zigzag diet plan, and um, what it was, he used to always say, "You can't lose fat unless you're on a negative calorie, def- you know, on a negative calorie diet. You can't gain muscle unless you're on a positive calorie balanced diet. You can't lose fat and gain muscle unless you alternate periods of negative caloric balance with periods of positive caloric balance. It doesn't matter if you're trying to lose body weight, stay at the same total body weight." or gain total body weight. The zigzag rule applies to everyone all the time. That was one of my first meetings with Dr. Fred. So, you know, so, but it's interesting is Tom sort of doing a different type of zigzag approach um, here with his, with his nutrition as he gains weight, you know, as he's gonna bulk up to 400 and do it lean. Well, anyways, um, Tom's strength's coming up immensely. So he hit um, 700 plus 100 pounds of chain on the deadlift, you know, that's huge. And we're not going with you know full on strength emphasis yet. Farmers walk. He at 20 seconds straight, 365 pounds in each hand, with no straps. So there's been some huge things going on there. Also, um, on trap bar deadlifts, Tom hit 650 pounds for 10 reps. So there's some huge, huge things uh, going on there. So. Um, we're, I'm very excited to see uh, where this goes. So I still think everything's on target um, to hit the 400 pounds. It's also on target to hit the 6% DEXA scan. And we're going to start providing a lot more updates here in about a month, the next few weeks. So make sure you uh, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more stuff coming from Tom. And Operation 400 is in full effect and kicking ass and keep up the good work, Tom. I am pumped, and next time we'll go into, you know, it's not so much about the nutrition. We'll go into a lot more of his training. We'll bring the results of the DEXA scan. And, uh, you know, in the word of old blue eyes, Frank Sinatra, the best is yet to come. Keep it up. Good work, Tom.